What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. Look at this. This is ReChap 0.0.1-649. Can't believe I remembered that. But if you go into the uh, Cydia store and you look up ReChap and you go under Recent Changes, you'll see here 0.0.1-649. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new changes with ReChap. This is a excellent multitasking jailbreak tweak, and it's even better now with its latest update. Still not perfect yet, but it still is in beta, so keep that in mind. Of course, at the top you have a kill switch. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And now there's an option. This is a really interesting one. Now you can show the notification center within the second screen on Reach App instead of just another app. So I have that enabled right here. Uh, so show notification center instead of an app in the reachability view. So I'm just going to invoke reachability by double tapping on the Touch ID sensor on my iPhone 6 Plus like this. And there you go. There is the notification center that you get instead. And that is all you'll see there with uh, this option enabled. So you can browse your notification center, see what's new, see all your notifications, see your widgets, etc. And you can even resize it if you can grab the little grabber. Notice the grabber is now redesigned. You have a new redesigned grabber, which in my opinion looks a little better, a little more appropriate. You can no longer move the uh, the app all the way to the top of the screen and, and sort of lock things up, so that's been fixed. Uh, so this is a really nice update to Reach App. But that's not all, of course. There are a lot of other options that you're going to find with this new update here. Uh, for instance, there is a new option to show an app selector, which is right here. The app selector allows you to choose which app you want to open instead of just opening the last app that you had open. So let me just show you right here. I'm going to turn off the app selector here, and I'm going to double press or double tap my home button, the uh, Touch ID sensor, and invoke the reachability view. Okay. So... I think that was actually Cydia in the background. Let's actually go out here and we're going to open up the YouTube app here. And we're just going to go to our channel and we're going to close that out and we're going to open up the settings again. Now watch what happens when I invoke reachability view. It opens up the YouTube app because that was the last app that I had open. That's perfectly fine and all and it may work for your workflow, but sometimes you want to open up a specific app and that is what this new option allows you to do, show app selector. So you're just going to turn on show app selector here and now we're going to double tap the home button to invoke reachability view and watch what happens. Now you get an actual app chooser. You get a, you can select the app that you want to open up. So say I didn't want to open up Cydia or I didn't want to open up the last app that I had open. I wanted to open up a specific app like YouTube. I just tap on YouTube and that will open up YouTube just like that. Um, so let's open up a few apps here. Open up the iTunes store. Uh, let's just search for something. I don't know, just so we can kind of get, gain some context. Alrighty, we're loading. Okay. I don't know why I chose this, I just did. All right, um, now let's open up another app. Let's see, let's open up the App Store. And there we go. And I think that should about do it, right? All right, so now we're going to open up um, Settings app again. All right, so here's the Reach App Settings. Now I'm gonna double tap the Touch ID sensor. And now you see all these apps, and you can have multiple rows of apps as well. They'll just keep building up on rows, and you can just swipe down here and uh, view all the apps that you have. But as you can see here, now you can actually pick and choose which apps you want to launch in that second view. And bam, just like that, you can uh, start navigating um, the other apps on the reachability view if you want to do that. Uh, so really, really cool uh, application of multitasking with this new update to actually show the app selector and choose which apps you want to select. Uh, and that's not all. There are other things. There's a new home button closes reachability option. So if you have that on, basically pressing the home button will just close the reachability view. So I'm going to open up YouTube here. Now if I, I'm going to actually press in on the home button like a normal press to get back to the home screen and it just closes the reachability view. But if you turn this off, and I press the home button again, it'll close reachability and then go back to the home screen. So you have the option of what you want to do there. And then there's some rotation stuff, uh, scaling rotation mode. I play with that. It just doesn't work that great right now. It's obviously still in beta. There's big capital letters and there's text that says we will not support uh, any kind of emails for this feature. So right now that's still kind of in beta. I wouldn't, to me personally, I don't think it's stable enough to even uh, demonstrate or, or try out 
but the big news here is the app selector, folks. Uh, and of course, the bottom grabber is a new feature as well. Not really a big deal. Basically, it just shows a bottom portion of the grabber, which actually looks kind of weird, and that's probably why it's off by default. Um, so yeah. But again, the the big deal here is the app selector, folks. It is a reach app. It allows you to have true split screen multitasking on your iPhone. You can go out and get the latest update right now from the reach app repo, which you will have in the post on I download blog and in the description for your convenience. So folks, let me know what you think about the latest update. Do you like that new app selector? Do you like having notification center in the reachability view instead of an app? Let me know in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.